students uh, in this video i'm going to discuss the multiplexer it's a very important topic like every other circuit this too has got certain inputs and the output i want to show you a diagram here and in this figure you see that um, a box and these are the certain lines which are actually the inputs and one output is here that means four input and one output four to one multiplexer it is called it is also known as mux so it is written four to one mux all right what we find here that two more things are here these two lines these are known as the selection lines all right named as s1 and s0 right now we need to understand what is the connection uh, between this s1 s0 and i0 i1 and i2 and i3 so for that we visit a truth table and here you see in the truth table s1 and s0 and these are the different uh, binary combinations assigned to uh, these for for different rows and when we say that 0 0 and I, I, I ask a normal question from you that 0 0 represents uh, which decimal number so definitely your answer will be 0 then 0 1 that is for 1 1 0 represent the decimal number 2 then 1 1 represent the decimal number 3 and here you can see it is written I 0 I 1 I 2 and I 3 these are the decimal numbers here so when the combination is 0 0 or the selection lines have uh, the value 0 0 uh, then they go for i 0 now here you may have this confusion that uh, the heading is written y which is the output and uh, under this heading i have written all the inputs i 0 i 1 i 2 and i 3 so here it is equivalent to the output input line is equivalent to the output so that is why it is written here so there should not be any confusion i'll get back to this again now i'm getting back to the definition the fundamental concept of the multiplexer it contains a word multiplex so students multiplex means many into one and you can understand it well uh, through the example of the multiplex movie uh, theater these days all right where many movies are run in uh, uh, one multiplex so uh, multiplexer uh, is also called as mux so that is the beginning of the definition in the examination you will write multiplexer is also called as mux uh, definitely it is a combinational circuit that has maximum of two to the power n uh, data inputs and selection lines i have just now shown you and single output line yes single output line is there multiplexer receives binary information from one of the 2 to the power n input data lines and directs it to a single output line 2 to the power n n selection lines that means if the selection lines are 2 as it were, you know they were there in the figure i've shown you so two selection lines were there so how many inputs 2 to the power n that means four inputs so it was I0, I1, I2, and I3. Multiplexer receives binary information from one of the 2 to the power n input data lines and directs it to a, a single output line. All right. So I hope uh, this idea is a bit clear to you. Now, students, some detail. The selection of a particular input data line for the output is determined by a set of selection inputs. By a set of selection inputs one of these data inputs will be connected to the output based on the values of the selection lines so on the basis of the values of the selection lines right uh, one of these data inputs will be connected to the output all right since there are n selection lines there will be 2 to the power n possible combinations of zeros and ones so that so each combination will select only of data input right after that students uh, we have types of multiplexes four into uh, one or four to 
वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर एट टू वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर एंड सिक्सटीन टू वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर सो फोर टू वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर वन आई टॉक अबाउट सो इन दिस वीडियो हम डिस्कस दी फोर टू वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर ओनली सो फोर टू वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर हैज फोर डेटा इनपुट्स ऑल राइट विच आई ऑलरेडी शोन यू द ब्लॉक डायग्राम एंड इनपुट्स आर वन जीरो आई जीरो आई वन आई टू एंड आई थ्री टू सिलेक्शन लाइन्स एस वन एंड एस टू एंड वन आउटपुट वाई द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ फोर इंटू वन इज वेरी मच हेयर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व वट एवर आई टोल्ड यू जस्ट नाउ इनपुट्स सिलेक्शन एंड दिस इज द आउटपुट ओके सो दिस इज द फोर फोर टू वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर एंड आफ्टर दैट सम डिटेल इज गिवेन हेयर वन ऑफ दीज फोर इनपुट्स विल बी कनेक्टेड टू द आउटपुट All right. Based on the combination of inputs present at these two selection lines, truth table of four uh, by one multiplexer or four to one multiplexer is shown below. You see, see the truth table here. I've already discussed this. So here, all the combination of uh, selection lines and on the basis of different. Uh, Uh, outputs and here input lines are given from uh, truth table we can directly write the boolean function for output y as so students here uh, for this boolean expression will be the uh, sum of product or sop canonical form of expression uh, and in this min terms are there where we complement zero so you can see when the combination of s1 s0 was 0 0 so both have been complemented and then i have written i0 because they select i0 then s1 complement because this is basically 0 1 then i1 then s1 s0 that is i2 plus s1 s0 i3 nothing is complemented here is that clear we can implement this boolean function using inverters and gate and or gates these are the different gate inverter means not gate now students we'll see the circuit diagram here please see the circuit diagram it's very important so in the examination what you need to write in four number question or four marks question you will write the definition and then you will draw a block diagram a truth table and uh, a multiplexer and explain a working a bit uh, 4 into 1 multiplexer here selectors or selection lines s1 and s0 and here it is uh, uh, the input i0 i1 i2 and i3 students here these combination 0 0 0 1 1 1 are to be produced so that is why this is the line which is basically representing the one and when i complement that means pass it through not gate it becomes zero so here it is one and zero and then this is uh, one and zero of s0 is that clear now for the first combination where both are uh, you know the not have or zeros have been connected here so they are going to select which line that is i0 same thing here uh, the combination uh, s1 uh, and 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 uh, s0 s1 complement is here all right and s0 is like this so this is going to produce what i1 so it is here so the same thing is here for all the combination also here you also you may see that it is s1 and s0 complement so it's going to produce what i2 then s1 and s0 means no complementation so they are going to select what i3 now the output of these is going to be sent through this all right the output is f0 f1 f2 and f3 all right so this will be called what the output y all right and all are written here f0 f1 f2 and f3 i hope you have the clear idea and you can draw it very well all right it's a very simple uh, to uh, to be drawn and here if you uh, look at this so you will find that if i ignore uh, this or or gate here all right i have ignored this or gate so this much is the decoder up to this it is a decoder so if you know decoder well you can uh, draw the circuit of multiplexer quite easily uh, now students uh, here it is written that uh, the working s1 and s0 are referred as selector switches 
which ensure that uh, the selection of a signal uh, in order to select I2 the state of the selectors which is S1 and uh, S1 and S0 must be 1 0 all right binary representation of uh, 2 that is respectively when the select selection inputs are equal to 0 1 output y is equal to input uh, i1 then process is same for other combinations also all right i hope you have the clear idea of multiplexer now thanks everyone